What do I do? Just walk to the office? I haven't even practiced this, man. Hi. Where is Miss Jansky's room? Oh, can I go see Miss Bramlett? Do you know where it's at? Uh, I'm gonna go thank Miss Ellis. We're, we're here to see Miss Ellis. Oh, we're here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm close. These halls used to be huge. All the classrooms are upstairs, I think. Is Coach Lawson's classroom on this floor? Is it this way? What if I stutter? He went to the bathroom. She's she's the one on the scooter. That's downstairs. It's downstairs. Oh shoot! Single night. Stay on. Are we good? Oh, what's up? <laughs> no, come here. Yeah, you're the one that. That's what I was working on this morning. <sighs> Miss Parker, how's it going? I'm good. Hey. Oh my goodness, you have to answer me. How are you? You're so gross. Oh my goodness, you're gonna make me cry. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. I'm sorry. How are you doing? I'm good. I have a letter for you. Thank you. Hey, Miss Ellis. <laughs> hey, Miss Davis. I'm about to read you. Oh, you made me cry. Hey! Hey, hey, uh. <laughs> hey nephew! What's up, baby? Okay. Uh, oh my what, gosh. What, what is it? I'll read a letter to you. Okay. Isn't that supposed to happen at my casino? I apologize because we just Hi. came in from outside. To all of you high school kids, it smells. Hey, oh my god, I'm already people. emotional. <laughs> it's picture day. I think I missed no. picture day. Because it was a day that we had a field trip or something like that. And I didn't come That's to the field trip. Right. Yeah. Hey, first of all, do y'all know who this is? No. We're 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 this is my niece, and she's a senior in high school. It's who? And that, that is my son huh? back there, the guy walking no. out of here. No. All right, dear Coach Rock, um, Mrs. Slayton gave us the opportunity to write to any teacher who left us the biggest impact in us, and someone I thought it was you, Coach Rock. Dear Coach Lawson, well, I never thought it would get here so fast. Miss Bramlett, um, I know you as Miss Folds, my kindergarten teacher. When I was given the opportunity to write a letter to one of the most impactful, gosh, okay, teachers I've had, you're the number one teacher who came to mind. And the first person that I thought of was you. I had no trouble deciding who I would pick. Yes, I've never formally had you as my teacher, and yes, you are related, we are related. I decided to write mine to you. Even though it's been more than 10 years since you had me in second grade, I still remember all the memories from our class. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, I had Vivian. Yeah. Uh, Hi! <laughs> she was in third grade. Sparker, I hope it hasn't come to a surprise that I would choose you as a teacher that has truly made my high school experience more enjoyable when being in your classroom. You have taught me the most about life. You taught me most of, uh, out of any people in my life, uh, family. You taught me how to be a man and how things really are. Uh, coach, you got me
to never give up on things I want most in life, like football. And how you're gener generous enough to continue our tutoring sessions over food where you had to force Russell to cook for me. The short amount of time I experienced your teaching firsthand was enough for me to understand why almost every student you have taught loves you. Since eighth grade, you've been one of my biggest role models and you always will be. Because you got me involved with East, I discovered my passion for technology. Not only did you get me engaged with photography, which is now one of my favorite hobbies and has landed me multiple job opportunities, but you got me in immersed <clears throat> in, co in coding and computer science in general. Thank you for being the most memorable teacher for my childhood. I always looked forward to coming to your class and playing Just Dance. You were always so comforting and full of life. So many of my friendships were made in your class. I was always way more quiet as a little kid, and I believe you and your class's fun-loving environment is the reason I came out of my shell. And joked around about passing me so you wouldn't have to deal with me again, and then you got me for biomed for my final year of high school. I've been given the name of Crazy Train in your class, and I gave you the name of Santa Claus because you look like Santa Claus. Before I became an ATSA, I was very shy and kept to myself. You two showed me to be myself and not to care what anyone thought. I remember when my little cousin was born and you called me to your desk to let me know because you knew how excited I was. I also think of the time I was told I was moving to Cabot and you came and eased my mind about the move but to also let me know that you worked there It gave me one of your old shirts which I still own to this day. While these acts never seemed monumental at the time for an eight-year-old, I grew up to realize how much your little acts of kindness affected me and put into perspective how much you care and respect your students. I want to tell you that you make me a better person growing up and you are so calm and patient with me. You made me be out my shell, be my own person, to not follow other people and not and stay on course with my life and not be another um, statistic, I can't say. Oh, you're great. You're doing fantastic. Um, Ms. French, you've had me in your class since I was a freshman. <laughs> You've helped me with a lot of my college things. I'll never forget that. All the times we have class parties, the times you would help us with anything we needed, the time I came in and told you I got my permit, and then two days later when I came and said I crashed my car <laughs> into a tree, <laughs> or the other time I crashed my truck into the sign. In the I will miss the burb rides even when half of us were asleep. Coach Lewis has crazy rock music and always seeing Coach Evans' coffee mug collection on her desk. You made me feel seen and understood and gave me the opportunity to gain confidence in a subject I would never have thought could be possible. However, my, the imprint you've made on my life doesn't stop at academics because unlike most of your students, I've been given the privilege to not only be related to you, but I've created such a deep relationship that I know I can call you my best friend. Even though it was a COVID year last year, uh, which meant I kind of skipped your class for most of the second semester, I was very happy to know that I would not only have you again for my final year at Lakeside, but my homeroom teacher as well. A chapter that would not have been possible without you. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you for always listening to me rant about whatever it was that ticked me off that day. Thank you for consoling me for all the times I came to you crying and giving me advice when I needed guidance. But also, thank you for all the laughs and all the good times. Thank you for pushing me for the last five years, shaping me into the young woman I am today. You made English fun for me for my first year at Lakeside, and I appreciate you so much. You were my teacher that was one who made me have a lifelong friend to this day. Being on the sideline was always my favorite part of Fridays, and I will never forget the memories that were made on the field. You're Mr. Mack. You were my first teacher when I moved to Lakeside, all the way from Italy. I moved in the middle of the year, and you made me feel so welcome. Your class is so fun. Now I'm not very good at writing, especially these letters. But I'm about to graduate now, and I still think about your class in seventh grade. Thank you for making me feel so welcome. You didn't want to do GT because you had tried to do GT in yeah, second grade. Yeah, I actually almost said something about that. I know, okay. like she tried, she wanted to be in GT in second grade. She didn't make it. And I'm like, this girl needs to be in GT. Why is she not in GT? And um, I actually like talked her into it again to, to try to to try to test, to um, go out for GT again, and she made it, see? I remember the absolute joy I felt after being chosen as one of the few students responsible for helping set up the East Room. Um, being a student trainer, we have a lot of opportunities, and I wouldn't be where I am today without your help. Of course, I will admit that during class, I can be a little hard to handle when teaching, 
But regardless, I truly do want to understand the things you teach me in English because I respect what you teach and how you teach it. At a young age, I was beginning to experience a huge change in my personal life, but you always stayed constant during that time of need. You provided support, love, and embracing warmth when I needed it most. And most importantly, you offer these things without thinking twice, and I will cherish it forever. They were the best teacher I ever had. And then my memorable moment is when we used to play wrestle back in seventh grade. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, though. Moon and back. Moon and back. That's right. It's sliding down the side of the loft after rain time every day and raising the chickens throughout the entire year. I came up to you one time about me not playing running back and you told me to keep working and it'll come to you. And I did and got and I got to play the spot I wanted and where I wanted to play. The list of ways you've impacted me go on forever and I will eternally be grateful for what you have done for me. You're truly my best friend, math tutor, and life coach all in one. I will never be able to fully express my gratitude for you. So for now, all I will say is thank you. I would always wonder when the long, hot football practice days would be over. And now that the school year is coming to an end, I realize how fast it went by. I remember in fifth grade and I had no clue what the future would hold, but little did I know that there was a pandemic. But I do know now that my future is in education field. And again, it's because of teachers like you who, have, who make me want to impact kids like you have impacted me the most and my classmates. And we thank you so much. You're like a father figure to me and making sure I'm the right person and never doing any wrong. And I will never forget that. You used to call me Teddy Bear um, <laughs> because how sweet I was. You are precious. You, you was a good guidance throughout the course of my life. I love you. I will always love you for you. And I will always have love for you. And I wish nothing but the best for you. You affected my life more than I ever realized, and I know you will continue to impact the lives lives of your future students more than you know. Thank you. <laughs> Plan on going to National Park and then to UCA to become a physical therapist. I'll always remember Lakeside, but most importantly, your second grade class. Oh I'm now set to attend the University of Arkansas, where I plan to major in computer engineering and minor in computer science. I can honestly say that without your support, I would likely not be in the position uh, to pursue, pursue a career field that I not only love, but that I excel in. Next semester, I will be attending trade school for photography online at New York Institute. Do you have plans? Yeah. What are you? I'm going to SAU for pre-vet. Good for you. Awesome. And so when you get out, I can bring my cat to you. <laughs> <laughs> I will be continuing my studious journey into college, where I plan to go to UCA and achieve my film degree there. But what I'd like to say, which I can't say for most of the teachers here, is that you will be someone I will never forget, and the time spent in your class I will cherish for the foreseeable future. So thank you for all you've given me, and I hope your future will only improve from here on out. Okay, so where are you going? <laughs> National Park first two years, and then U, uh, UCA the next for education. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> you better come back to Lakeside. Yeah, no, that's my plan. That's my plan. Oh my goodness gracious. Look how, look how little bitty you are right there, Nick. Look, I know you're gonna miss me and I'm really gonna miss you when I graduate again. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I will miss you. I appreciate it. No problem. Helps me when I've had a really rough week. Oh. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's the kindest thing ever. Thank you. Oh, Nate, I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You're going to go do great things, I know. You will. Oh, I was expecting to cry. I love you, Coach, and I always do. I guess. Hey, love you, man. Love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye. With sincere gratitude, Evan Myers. Thank you so much. Oh, so proud of you. Thank you. I'm gonna knock your hat off. Thank you so much. There we go. That's like an ugly cry. <laughs> Thank you.
You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. And we still got one more track. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Make every day count. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Remember what I told you, man. Never give up. <laughs> Never give up, man. You can do anything you want to do. Okay? <laughs> and when people try to tell you you can't do it, remember me telling you that you can. Okay? <laughs> All right. Love you. Congratulations, man. Thank you. I'll see you fifth. <laughs> Bye, Miss Davis. Love you, too. I think it went pretty well. Okay. <clears throat> Good to see you, too. How's your mom? Good, great. Um, we was talking about you the other day. Um, she was like helping me with the letter. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. <laughs>